the tail ender is Metallic Queen. And so along by the 550, it's Enactment, the newcomer. Leading the way, the Scandal Keeper filly out a length and a half clear. Running second is My Arena, then a length and a half away behind those in third spot. Cool Intrigue down on the inside. Ibiza is certainly under pressure coming into the home corner. Further back behind those came Can't Disguise and also back Love Always. Enactment, though, showing them a clean pair of heels. Down by the 200 had gapped them. It's Enactment, three in front now from My Arena. Arena. Down the outside, coming home well is Cool Intrigue. It's an Ackman a length and a half in front. Cool Intrigue is cutting it down with Metallic Queen late along the rail. The leader fell in a heap and joined on the outside by Cool Intrigue and Metallic Queen. They went to the line, there was little in it. Cool Intrigue, Metallic Queen, who had to switch direction right back to the inside and an Ackman. It uh, stopped as if shot over the final 50 metres. In behind those, next in, pulling up behind them came Frequenter. And they were followed further back by Maya Arena, a gap in the field, love always. Also towards the tail is Can't Disguise. And for the second time, Abitha has pulled up a furlong behind the field and is already heading back into the mounting enclosure. Waiting for the result. Enactment looked home. Steve Parnham, but then all of a sudden got the wobbles in the last little bit. Down the outside, Cool Intrigue and Metallic Queen, who'd cut right back towards the inside, has made it awfully close. Cool Intrigue, 8.62.40, has held on, though, to win it by a narrow margin. Over Metallic Queen, $2 in enactment, $1.40. My arena is fourth home in a time of 61.23. One minute, one, two, three, the time, and cool intrigue on debut. A filly by Frost Giant, which could well be his first runner in WA. Former topper North American sprinter, Frost Giant, stands up at Yarradale Stud, and uh, it has got the money here for the Paul Jordan Stable. Raced by Harvey Crossman and ridden by Lisa Staples. Eight Metallic Queen second by Casino Prince out of Pilani for Mike Santich and Miss T Brown, trained by Mike Santich, ridden by Jordan Turner. And Nackman, third home, a scandal keeper, Tri Magic Philly, owned by Nev Carroll and Parnham Ron Sayers, Paul Cook, Noel Gray, trained by Neville Parnham, Stephen Parnham aboard. So 860 and 240 for cool intrigue. Half ahead, a long head with the margins, and they've run home in 36.22 on this track, which is downgraded to a soft six. And Ackman had that big lead, 100 from home, but the margin was cut rapidly by cool intrigue and then Metallic Queen, who'd got right back to the inside, and they went to the line level pegging. Not sure what's going on here with Ibiza. Trialled well, tongue over the bit, had an excuse there. Well, it was under sufferance before the corner this afternoon and it hasn't just been beaten, it's been beaten by a postcode. Righto, let's uh, take a look at race number two. Next event of the day, the young membership maiden over the 1,400 for three-year-olds. Two Sammy the Boss out, 16, 17, 18 are withdrawals as well. And it's 1, 3, 13 and 9. Let's head down to Adam McGrath and he's with winning trainer Paul Jordan. The owner's uh, away on holidays. He's somewhere jet-setting around in North America. We've got the trainer, though, representing uh, the owner this afternoon, Paul Jordan, and a tight finish to start the day. Really was a tight finish. Paul, we saw that uh, in the trials that this filly, she was your typical runner. She got out nicely. She did most things right and was able to find the front. A little bit green today, though. Yeah, when she rolled off the back of the others, she, she sort of rolled around a little bit. But no, terrific. Lisa rode terrific. Tell us about uh, what your thoughts are about her in the stable. Clearly to do a few things wrong today, but still be able to pick them up late and really knuckle down. She showed a bit of class. Oh, really nice filly. Uh, she does everything you want her to do. She's, uh, she eats well. It's really good to get on with. You know, she's a beauty. You know. Two-year-old filly, you buy Frost Giant as well. How many Frost Giants have you got? And just tell us your thoughts on them early on in the season. Well, i got three. I think this is the first that's won in Australia. Um, this one's grandmother won the Australasian Oak, so she's pretty well-bred filly. And I've got one out of democratism, and I've got one out of... Uh, I've forgotten this, what he's out of. But uh, out, of a mare, out of a mare called Heather that won two or three Group 2s in Sydney, so... Pedigree. Any traits that you would use to summarise the Frost Giants you've got at the moment? Oh, really good to get on with. Terrific. Little racehorses. 
Very good indeed, mate. Well, you started uh, very nicely here today, and we look forward to seeing uh, where she'll go. Will you spell or continue to push on in some of these two-year-old races? we just see how she pulls up and go from there. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Uh, a mud-spattered Lisa Staples. Uh, before you run off on me, uh, I'm going to get wet with you here. Firstly, uh, happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. Very nice present indeed. Uh, tell us about the run down the straight. I would have thought probably 150 metres out. It just looked as though Parnham's runner was going to win. Yours was a little bit green, but she really knuckled down late. She's really tough and she's honest and uh, doesn't do anything wrong in running. So I felt we were picking up on him and uh, I seen the one on the inside dive, but it's late. So I wasn't sure if we got it or not. Looks as though the 1,000 metres is where she'll start as well, just continue to progress with distance as she matures. Yeah, I reckon she'll fill out and grow a little bit too. So. I love chatting to you, but I hate getting wet, Lisa. As I said, happy birthday. Thank you.